I'm going to begin today with a story and end with a revolution. All my life, I wanted to be an actress. From the time I was very small, I could feel the magic of storytelling, and I wanted to be a part of it. So, at the ripe age of 21, I graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and ready to take my rightful place as the next Meryl Streep. I was raised by a raging feminist, so it just honestly never even occurred to me that I would be prevented from doing anything in my life because I'm a woman. So I graduate and I start auditioning and I get work slowly, but I just start noticing that the parts available for women are terrible. And all of a sudden, I am wrestling with 300 other gorgeous, talented women to play female. No dialogue. The character only needs to stand on a balcony, look for Lorne, and walk back inside the house. Only partial nudity. Abby must be okay with a tastefully shot gang rape, along with performing 19th-century dance. And so I just mentioned this to my agent one day. I said, "I feel like I'm not really going in for parts that I'm actually excited about playing." Oh, that's funny. I always thought that when you were 35, you were kind of like over the hill as an actress, that you were relegated to playing 20-year-olds' mothers. And he said, "Yeah, no problem. We'll just make our own movie, and I'll write it, and I'll write it about two complex female characters." And so pretty soon, we're sitting in the office of a successful male producer, and he goes, "Okay, girls, so you do understand that at some point you are going to have to hire a male producer on board, right? Just so that people will trust you with their money." Over and over again, people tell us, "Yeah, but people don't really want to see films about women, so maybe you should think about making something else." So we make the movie anyway. <laughs> we scrape together eighty thousand dollars and we make it, and it does so well. It gets into tons of festivals, and we win a lot of awards, and it's big and exciting. But these experiences I've had just keep rubbing at me, and so I just start talking about them. The universal reaction is, "Oh my God, this is terrible! What do we do about this?" But the bigger panels I get on, suddenly an Oscar nominee tells me, "Look, I totally agree with everything you're saying. You just need to be really careful about where you say it." An Oscar-winning producer tells me that she doesn't think it's a good idea to play the woman card. 